not ever going to end. And nobody's ever even going to believe me. Those men are in danger now just because they know me. Just because they know me. Just because they were acquaintance with me. Just because they were around in 2015. They're in danger. Somebody's going to track them down and murder them. Just for existing. Just for existing. Just for being alive. Just for being there. Just for being human beings that were in the same vicinity as me. <laughs> and there are so many people out there that want me hurt that they're going to track down and kill anybody that has ever come into contact with me. <laughs> and there is nothing I can do. All I can do is reach out and scream out to be heard. <laughs> And nobody is going to hear me. These people are going to kill them. They're going to kill me. And nobody is going to listen. You have no idea what it's like to be in such total fear for your safety. <coughs> and have the people that are threatening you mocking you and laughing at you and belittling you and just... <laughs> Imagine somebody threatening to kill you and when you reach out and tell somebody they're walking around behind you mocking you and laughing at you and belittling you and putting you down and ha 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 We're gonna kill you, we're gonna kill you, we're gonna kill you and nobody cares We're gonna kill you and nobody wants you and nobody loves you and nobody cares and, then, and nobody's ever gonna believe you, nobody's going to listen to you, nobody's going to accept that this is even happening even though it's happening right there in the open, in the public, where everybody can see it. They have been actively doing this for a year. They have been threatening. They have been tracking. They have been stalking. Adonis Paul has been following me and taking videos and pictures of me to use against me. <laughs> and now they are going to kill Chad and Terry. They found them already. I didn't even use their names and they somehow figured out who they were and now they're going to after them. They sent me a memo last night letting me know that they have located them. They are locating them. They are finding them. They are going after them. They are going to take care of it. And, and these men didn't do anything. <laughs> They're pieces of garbage. They took advantage of me. They ran out my money as fast as they could, but they still don't deserve to be killed for it. They don't deserve to have their lives ended. They don't deserve to be dragged down and beaten in the streets just because they're human beings that know me. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to fear that. Nobody deserves to... <laughs> Nobody deserves to die just because they know me. <laughs> Nobody deserves this. <laughs> nobody deserves this. And you'll ask why nobody will speak up for me. Anybody who <laughs> anybody who can speak up for me gets death threats. Why would anybody ever come forward when every single soul who comes forward is attacked brutally and threatened that they're going to lose their life at the hands of thousands of angry people who do not care about the truth and want to extinguish anybody that can tell the truth. They have to get rid of anybody that can tell the truth. They have to kill anybody that can tell the truth that they are lying, that they are dangerous, that they are stalking people, that they are hurting people. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I'm alive, everybody is in danger. As long as I breathe, 
everybody in this world is in danger because they're going to keep going after me and they're going to keep coming after everybody who cares about me, everybody who listens to me, everybody who tries for a second to believe me. <laughs> They sent my therapist death threats. They've tried to close down a free mental health clinic. They've done everything they could to stop me from receiving any kind of help or support. And now they're, and now they're gonna kill two guys that just, they just were there. They were just there. They were just existing in my life. They were just around and now they're going to be killed. <laughs> They didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. It doesn't matter. They need me to be this criminal that they have portrayed so that they never have to accept that they have been lying and destroying the life of somebody who does not deserve it. <laughs> Now two men and their child are going to be murdered. <laughs> they already found them. It doesn't matter if I say their names now or it doesn't matter if I say anything now because they've already found them. They told me last night. They emailed me last night that they have already found them. <laughs> They found them and they're going to hurt them just because they know me. Because they used to know me. These men haven't even spoken to me in six years. They're just going to wake up one day to knock on the door and have somebody kill them. Because they associated with somebody half a decade ago. And now suddenly they're just going to be killed. They're going to be beaten in the streets. They're going to be killed. Why won't anybody listen to me? Why won't anybody understand how dangerous this is? For a year, these people have been doing this to me. I am in danger, and anybody that even breathes near me is in danger. We are in danger. We are going to be killed. These people are never going to stop. Please, God, somebody hear me. These people are never going to stop. They are going to kill us. They are tracking us down. Because we know the truth and they don't want it out. My family will stop at nothing to silence me. Even sending people after anybody who knows me. That's why Kathy was going around to the neighbors trying to find somebody to get information from that she could hurt, that she could silence. <laughs> These all... <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna believe me. Nobody's ever gonna believe me. Nobody's ever gonna believe me. Nobody's ever going to believe me. I've been screaming and begging to be heard, to be helped for a year, and it's Still, just getting more and more dangerous, just more and more people are being put in danger because I'm existing. What ends it? If I die, will Chad and Terry be allowed to live? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Is that what your threats that you found them are? Are you telling me that you make a deal that if I die, you'll let them live? You'll leave them alone? If I die, you'll just li you'll just stop? What happens? What happens if I die? Will you leave them alone? If I am gone, will they have a chance to live their lives without fear of being tracked down in the streets for knowing me? <laughs> See, this is it. They can't, they, they can't do it themselves. They have to have me do it myself. They have to threaten enough people to make me kill myself to save them. <laughs> because as long as I'm alive, nobody is safe. Just because people hate me, just because my family wants me dead so badly,
<laughs> for a year now they have been doing this and it is just never going to end. They are going to keep tracking me down and tracking everybody down that knows me until they kill us and it's just... And then they can say, well, see, everybody who says anything different is gone. So that means that we're telling the truth because anybody who ever thought differently is gone. <laughs> Adonis Paul is going to kill me. And he's not doing it just because he wants to do it. Because he doesn't even know me. He is doing it for my aunt. <laughs> Adonis Paul and my aunt are working together. They tried to frame me for a murder that didn't even happen. They sent emails to me with veiled confessions from a fake accomplice so that they could call the police and have the police come and investigate my emails. And when that didn't work, they decided to just kill anybody else that knows the truth. Anybody that knows the truth is in danger. Anybody that's willing to speak the truth is in danger. And nobody's ever going to believe me. <laughs> nobody's ever going to believe me. Oh God, nobody's ever going to believe me. I have spent my whole life screaming out and begging to be believed and it's never... <laughs> it's never <laughs> They're gonna kill me <laughs> After so many years of surviving my family They're finally going to just have me to Hunted down and killed <laughs> I fell for so long <laughs> I don't even have friends anymore and they're still going to be killed because they knew me. I don't even have friends anymore. I'm not allowed to have friends. I know anybody I know is in mortal danger from my family that wants me dead. It wants me to suffer and will not ever stop. They will not ever stop. Abusers never release their victim. Even after I'm dead, they will continue using my memory to abuse others. <laughs> and nobody is ever even going to believe me. 